there's any musical noise in the background that's probably um, the Lady Gaga playing downstairs <laughs> my husband is testing out my new birthday present which is the um, Apple iPod thing and it's just amazing the sound is incredible and we put Lady Gaga because Mason uh, loves Lady Gaga so that's it but I don't think you should be able to pick it up but it's a really strong like um, sound effect so it's yeah I'm impressed but anyway uh, Speaking of which, last week was my birthday and here are a few things I have ordered as a little kind of, you know, last minute birthday treat. Um, there's nothing too special here or too expensive, but it's the items that really appeal to me um, lately. So I will do a little shout out to Irit Langraf um, and uh, yeah, I'll put a, her link to her channel if you want to check her out. Um, basically, I've been seeing Irid using this brush and first of all, I went on Amazon and decided to try kind of find a similar thing. So I ordered this, which is Artmaster Special Effects Sword Liner Brush. And um, I, I tried to use a couple of times, not too impressed, I'll be honest. Um, so then I went ahead. I just wanted to see if maybe I could find like a cheaper version or something um, on Amazon, but yeah, I don't think that it would do as good of a job as this one is. So this one is actually thinner and um, a bit longer, so about a half a centimeter longer. And it just looks so good when Irid uses it. It just kind of does these marks and things which I couldn't achieve with this brush. So I wanted to play around. I didn't actually... Oop, lost it. Almost. Um, the only other sword brush that I have is this one which is by um, Silver Black Velvet. It's, um, it's a lot shorter so it's not really... and it's fluffier. So it doesn't, it does a similar job, but not like this one. So that's why I wanted to give it a go and add it um, as a textural effect to my brushes. Currently, what I love using are these um, fan brushes. They're super fun and they create lovely textures. Anyways, so the next thing I have ordered is I'm on a hunt for a couple more colors, which I can't get open stock and I don't want to buy the whole set, but... I have been loving these two, which is the Pantol Grey, um, spelled G-R-A-Y. It's actually a very light grey, or you can get it to a very light grey as well as very dark. So it has that nice um, value to it. And Sepia. The next colour that I decided to add is Olive Green. And I have a feeling it's going to be beautiful. There is one which is, I think it's an orange that I really want, but I can't get it. So if you know, if you're from UK, if you know where to get it, do let me know. Okay, so the next thing is this Derwent Graft Tint. Now, I've been watching one of the videos, I think they were a little bit maybe a few weeks back uh, from Irid's channel and she showed these which I've never seen before and it kind of really caught my eye. So these are the Derwent Graft Tint. If you know I have recently ordered another set which I'll just show you. So I've ordered this uh, drawing pencils, the neutral um, color set and I do have a swatch and review for it which I'll link up here somewhere for you and then I'm kind of discovering their speciality pencils which no other brand does so again graph tint these are like graphite pencils that are water soluble and they are tinted I mean where have you seen such a color variety for graph pencils I mean the only other thing which is sort of close to that that I have is the Caran uh, tinted Technala water soluble graphite pencils. So these are uh, the green, the blue and the slightly red but there is hardly any pigment in them so it's very very gr um, graphite like but these, these seem really interesting so I am quite excited to try them out and 
see the difference between a graphite pencil and a, say, uh, watercolor pencil and how these are supposed to be in the middle of that. So, yeah, the colors are beautiful. Um, <clears throat> somehow I ended up ordering, you'll see it in a minute, this pencil here, the Meadow, um, as, a, as a separate pencil. So I have two of those, which is a lovely color. Okay, so let's look at these few smaller items, bits and pieces. So what I have here is, like I said, that Meadow pencil. I bought it separately, open stock. These, again, I saw, I think it might have been this color. Irid, if you're watching, let us know. I think that, it doesn't say what name it is. So this is the 3510... 015. Um, I think that's the green that I saw Irid using. It looked like a yellowish green kind of color um, in one of her really, I think it's like my favorite floral piece if I'm not mistaken. Anyways, there's lots of lovely videos uh, that Irid came out with. But yeah, the point is um, um, I think this might be the color. So these are the Carandash Museum Aquarelle watercolor pencils and these are also quite pricey. Um, I don't have, I, I didn't try them before but they're supposed to be really good and I just went for a few colors that I am enjoying right now which is, this one is amber so it's like, it looks like a greenish brown. Um, this one is light Malachite green, Beryl green, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, it's B-E-R-Y-L and this one doesn't have a name on it unfortunately, so yeah, gorgeous. And then I got a couple more of the Caran Dash Neo Color 2 crayons, so these are water soluble. These I got from your um, recommendations when I asked to uh, share your favorites. I went through all of your messages. Thank you very much for leaving them and, and suggesting them and taking time to write them out. And I picked out what I thought would be a good fit to my color palette um, that I have already, which I just show you. So I have a video for these as well. I also have um, these colors. So this is my color palette here and I thought these kind of would mingle nicely. Um, so the colors that I added, um, I'll try to link again up here somewhere the video for these um, swatches. And then here is orangish yellow, uh, saffron, vermilion, and then we have jade green, light cobalt blue hue, and light cobalt blue hue are the same. Hmm, they actually look slightly different, I wonder. But they definitely look different. So this one is more on the lilac -y side. I wonder if you can pick up on that. They have a slight difference to them. I don't know what the deal is, but yeah. Um, and I definitely didn't order the same crayon twice, so I'm not sure. Um, <clears throat> and then we have olive, so that would fit in nicely here. So these are my um, seven new colors that I added. And then, quite excitingly, I also added a couple more watercolors. So here I have the... Uh, June Brilliant number one and June Brilliant number two um, by Mijello Mission Gold. And I actually was after the Holbein June Brilliant number two, which is the reverse. So it's actually this peach color, which is called number one by Mijello. But yeah, um, it seems to be completely like out of stock. So I ended up getting these two. So this one is semi-transparent or semi-opaque uh, and this one is transparent which is quite interesting for June Brilliant I would expect them to be opaque so the fact that it says it's transparent I'm looking forward to it. So it's supposed to be this pinky color um, like a peachy pinky color and then this one is like a true peach. 
so I do like these colors they look very delicious I'm going to swatch them out for you separately this is just a quick video to share and then I got two new colors that I have been kind of eyeing uh, from Daniel Smith. This is Cobalt Teal Blue and Amazonite Genuine. And I have also uh, bought Gold Brown by Schminke. All of them smaller sizes because I just want to try them out. Again, in the colors that you can see, I am loving. So you can see basically if I take a couple of these colors out, um, they all sort of have that, you know, the same color theme going on okay oh and this one as well so that's it for today thanks for watching all the links will be down below and see you soon